Richard. That's it. We're racing in this, the Connolly's Red Mills Irish Ladies Auction Maiden Hurdle over two and a half miles. They're beginning at the end of the back straight and they have three flights ahead of them. And as they go towards the first of those, I-1 is going to cut out the early running with where the winds blow. Henry Brown, big awkward jump, but another one that made a mistake was West Cork Wildway. And towards the back of the field, one night more, I hope, just losing a little bit of early touch. So heading on to make the way towards flight number two. And it is where the winds blow. He's going to lead them to it from I-1. He jumps it well in second. Henry Brown again wasn't fluid, jumping it in third. Funky Daddy towards this one's outside. They're being followed further back by West Cork Wildway, who in turn is on the outside of Soy Cowboy. And just closing up the gap at the back is one, might, one night more, I hope, as they continue down along the back straight now. On their way towards flight number three, coming to it now, where the winds blow. I-1 was the one that was untidy over that one. Now they make their way on towards the turn that'll bring them out of the back straight, and it's where the winds blow, who continues to go along in front, being followed in second spot by I-1, and they're being followed towards the outside by Funky Daddy. As they make their way, West Cork Wildway is next, as they now make their way out of the back straight and on towards the at the top of the track and it's I-1 from on the outside where the winds blow they're being followed towards the inner by Soy Cowboy West Cork Wildway is next and then towards the outside is Funky Daddy Henry Brown is now just slotted in last but one and last of all is one night more I hope so they begin the turn now that's going to bring them on into the straight and with the advantage I-1 with towards the outside where the winds blow the leading pair being followed back in third spot another mistake and this Henry Brown hasn't jumped notably well through the early part of this race. It is worth noting that the fog is certainly lifting quite notably in the last 25 minutes to half an hour, and perhaps by big race time we might get a better vision of them. So now it's I-1 has taken over the lead again, the mount of Rachel Blackmore. This race covering two series. All of the runners in this being an auction race must have cost 45,000 or less at sale, and it's part of the Lady Riders series, seven races where ladies accumulate points based on their experience. And again, Henry Brown's jumping. Maxine O'Sullivan had to sit tight there, but it's just not happening fluently for Henry Brown here. So they make their way on now towards the flight, which will be their last in a circuit's time. This is flight number six, and it is I-1 over on the far side. On the near side is where the winds blow, and they're being followed by Soy Cowboy. Good jump on the near side by Funky Daddy under Jody Townend. As they come up now to pass the post, it is I-1 and Rachel Blackmore joined by Where the Winds Blow and Onyo Connor. They're being followed by Soy Cowboy, Lisa O'Neill, improving up on the outside, Funky Daddy and Jody Townend. West Cork Wildway, Joanna Walton are next. On the inside is Henry Brown and Maxine O'Sullivan. And last of all is One Might Know, I Hope, and Fidelma Elvin. So into the back straight they go. They've just about completed a circuit. And with the advantage, I-1 continues to lead. Tramahan point a point winner who took his bumper for Willie Mullins before finishing second over hurdles last time. Where the winds blow from the family of Best Mace sits second. Funky Daddy is towards the outside for the Dennis Hogan yard. West Cork Wildway, a dual points winner, is next. And the inside is Soy Cowboy for the points winner. Good jump, the leader there. Henry Brown is last but one. Bumper winner of his only start. That was at Ferry House back in October. And one might more, I hope, is last of all. So they continue now towards the midway point down along the back straight. And it is I-1 is continuing to just about cut out the running from in second spot where the winds blow towards the outside funky daddy continues to race wide west cork wildway is getting a little closer being ridden along now to try and get a little closer is henry brown and as they go midway down along the back straight just going back to jane and ted a1 has jumped well henry brown has not west cork wildway is getting into it where are your thoughts at this point and henry brown made another mistake as i ask you yeah maxine is enjoying enduring a bit of a nightmare run on henry brown she's going to do well to get him into the places but if you're on the favoured you'd have to be very happy Rach is dictating in front and he looks to be enjoying the testing conditions here in Gorn yeah Joanna uh, Watson is not going too bad at number three either there it depends on what he finds for well, we're about to find out because they're going to be asking questions shortly because I-1 leads with on the outside where the winds blow. Onyo Connor now gets lower in the saddle, being followed in third by Funky Daddy and West Cork Wildway just slips through on this one's inside as they begin the turn now to make their way on towards home. They've half a mile to race and it is I-1 who leads from West Cork Wildway on the outside. Funky Daddy right behind them where the winds blow. Another good jump, the leader I-1 here with on the outside Funky Daddy trying to close. West Cork Wildway's in between them where the winds blow is behind and they've gone 
one away from Henry Brown and one might more I hope so they begin now to make the turn and head towards home and it's I1 who begins the turn with a two to three length lead from West Cork Wildway in second back in third Funky Daddy behind them in fourth is where the winds blow but I1 is just lengthening now where West Cork Wildway as they come towards the second last is trying to give pursuit but I1 is over West Cork Wildway is second back in third behind these is Funky Daddy and they've gone away from the early leader where the winds blow they head towards the final flight which is just about coming back into my view which is encouraging for later on but it's encouraging now for the fact supporters of I1 who comes to the final flight over in front flicks the top bar West Cork Wildway is second but this one's going to go to favourite backers here I1 is going to stretch clear in the closing stages and win ease down it's an easy favourite success here in the Red Mills ladies auction maiden hurdle for Rachel Blackmore and Willie Mullins I1 wins West Cork Wildway is second and third is Funky Daddy and they're followed in by where the winds blow in front of Henry Brown and the final one to go by was one night more I hope well all very straightforward for the short priced A1 began his career in the point of point field for Donica Doyle progressed on to win a bumper for Willie and now he's a hurdle winner as well favourite obliges in our opener well, I tell you what, if you want to back five to two on chances, this is the f way that you uh, want them to come home. Ted, uh, never in trouble. Not really, not really. Uh, Joanna Walton's horse looked like he was going to find something, but they couldn't stay going with the winner. The winner jumped at the last three or four very well. Big galloping horse looks like a real uh, sort of a chase or three mile horse. He just galloped these into the ground, Jane. Yeah, he just a bit of class, more class. He was always comfortable. A lot of horses in behind doing things unprofessionally, whereas this guy was always enjoying the conditions. Rachel obviously is probably as good a rider as is in the world at the moment, a lady rider that is. And um, if you are a lady rider out there aspiring to get going, this is the series to be a part of and that is the lady to watch I well, actually saw him in Fairy House I thought he was an out and out three miler but I think Willie's just exploited a race that isn't as strong as some maiden hurdles at this time of year yeah well two, a two and a quarter around, Fairy, around Gordon sometimes could be equivalent to two six at Fairy House you know it's a big big tough track Gordon uh, you have to stay whether it's two miles three miles as we've seen in lots of races here you have to keep going Clip